Hey guys, hope you're having a great day today. My name is Daniel and I'm the High Mileage Helper. On this channel, my goal is to be able to help you learn more about the RV transporting industry, as well as give how-to videos for your truck and then give recommendations along the way. So if this is our first time meeting, uh, just consider subscribing, hitting the like button if you get good value. And in today's video, I'm gonna be kind of catching you up to speed uh, with how things have kind of gone uh, for me with my truck and uh, the whole kind of situation. And then going forward, being able to share with you uh, my first run since, uh, since I got married and went on my honeymoon. So as you've probably already seen uh, from Fair Winds and Following Seas, uh, his channel, uh, in my live stream that we did, uh, we replaced my turbo and my manifold. It was a pretty interesting job to get done, uh, to do. Uh, I'm looking at it right now, it's on the floor over here. Uh, fair winds, he, uh, Casey, uh, he was such a big help to me. Uh, thank you so much, man, I really do appreciate it. Uh, he came over and uh, we just kind of went to, uh, went to war on this thing. And he was such a huge help uh, to me. Uh, I've never replaced a turbo before. That's just something I've never touched. But man, he was such a huge help to me. Uh, I just, I just got to give him the credit. So thank you again, man. And so along with that, uh, I've also been doing some other maintenance things uh, on my truck, some filters, my ABS sensor uh, for my wheel hub assembly. Uh, evidently, somehow, some way, uh, it's literally not touching the wheel or the caliper or anything at all. Uh, but somehow. Uh, it looked like somebody took a torch to it or uh, or burnt or, or somehow did somehow rub. I don't even know how. Wasn't even close. Uh, but anyways, I had my ABS light on and so I needed to uh, get that replaced. So I went ahead and did that. Uh, and then just got a, several other small things cleaned up uh, in my toolbox, uh, in the cab, got things uh, really the way I want it to be going forward, especially getting out on the road uh, and hitting it hard probably for the next several weeks uh, at a time. And so uh, I'm excited going forward. Uh, I did get my first load uh, today. I booked it today. Uh, I was able to grab a Missouri load and uh, just a small one. I wanted to really uh, help myself out uh, potentially, you know, if there is any issues or anything that's loose or something that needs to uh, be corrected or tweaked uh, for the turbo situation. I wanted to be able to uh, be in a short radius, a short distance away uh, from home uh, in case something might you know, happen or some type of crazy issue, who knows. Uh, so I got a St. Louis run, uh, a very, very short one, but uh, solid pay, $1.60 a mile, I believe. And uh, I'm okay with that. Definitely want to get the uh, better fuel price uh, over there uh, in St. Louis. So that should be a solid uh, situation going forward, kind of setting up the next run uh, that I plan on taking, uh, which hopefully will be, you know, a little bit longer, uh, more than just 400, <laughs> more than uh, 415 miles. Uh, so we'll kind of see how things play out after that. But I'm going to be picking up that trailer tomorrow. Uh, hopefully maybe, you know, meet up with somebody. Uh, I did put a message out on Instagram to see if anyone wants to, to meet up if you happen to be in the area. Uh, so we'll see how that kind of goes. Uh, but I'll grab the trailer, bring it home. I do have church on Thursday night, so I definitely want to be home uh, and available if I can uh, for that. And so uh, that'll set me up for a Friday, probably noonish delivery uh, in St. Louis. Uh, and then that'll kind of be, you know, again, I'll be able to grab another load uh, for over the weekend to grab uh, or even just, you know, Monday morning pickup uh, if I have to. So, uh, so that's kind of the plan. Uh, hopefully the truck is good to go. Uh, my cautiousness is... Uh, just, you know, me being paranoid and just trying to be extra cautious, but we'll see what happens uh, going forward. As of right now, I've driven it several times around town. I've taken it on the highway. Uh, no issues, no crazy leaks right now. Uh, I started out having uh, some type of a air leak. Uh, I was able to, I just kind of run around every, every place that we touched uh, and just tighten up all the band clamp, all the V clamps, band clamps, whatever they're called, uh, to make sure that they're good. Uh, and in the process, as you can kind of see, uh, I still haven't put away all of my uh, garage. So uh, I've taken some time tonight uh, to be able to get things put back together where they were. Uh, I had a you know huge mess on the floor over here uh, from the coolant and the oil, uh, from the oil and coolant lines. 
uh, from when that additional uh, water hose from the back of the water pump, uh, when I pulled that out, man, a lot of coolant came out. Uh, so that was exciting. Uh, it was also exciting to pay the, it was, ended up being like $356 uh, for a water hose, for a, you know, coolant line uh, that I, I'm sure it cost them like six bucks to make. Uh, I just, I don't even know how it's possible, but, uh, anyways, they took me for a ride at the dealership because it's a dealer part. Uh, so that's a painful lesson to learn from that. Uh, but it already was kind of rusted out. Uh, maybe I'll get a picture and post that on Instagram as well. But after all of these setbacks and delays and issues, uh, I feel confident uh, as, as much as I can be, you know, not actually pulling a load, uh, not traveling down the highway for hours at a time, just, you know, a five or 10 minute drive around town, uh, just trying to test it and see if everything's, you know, good to go. Uh, I feel as confident as I can feel, uh, I guess. So we're just going to kind of roll with it and uh, take a short load and uh, see how things go. I'm assuming if there were any issues on the way to Goshen, a couple hours away uh, from home, uh, that I would find out either on the way there empty or certainly on the way home loaded. Uh, a couple hours on the road, you're gonna, you're gonna find out if there's any issues. So uh, we will see how that goes uh, tomorrow and uh, see if I can chat with anybody uh, who's in town uh, at that time and then uh, drop off. But hopefully for next week, uh, I'll be able to grab maybe a Texas or, uh, or maybe go out east uh, and just hit it hard. Uh, definitely time to hit the road. Uh, definitely time to make some money. You know, thankfully after the wedding, uh, after the honeymoon, I did have some reserve money uh, to be able to take care of bills and, and kind of, uh, you know, also pay for the turbo as well from the maintenance account and all that. But uh, it is definitely time uh, to get it going here financially. God has absolutely provided uh, in the meantime through through other ways, uh, just kind of taking care of things for me, uh, for us, uh, for my family. But um, at a certain point, you do have to go out and make it happen. So I'm thankful that I do have some friends that were able to help me out uh, while my truck was, you know, just about completely dead with the turbo deal. Uh, <laughs> they were able to help me out with uh, delivering and picking up uh, my dump trailer for my other business and uh, I've just been able to get a lot of other paperwork done other things uh, that I need to do for that business that I'm trying to uh, slowly build uh, and so yeah it's just been kind of an interesting um, over a month of being at home and working but not working and uh, piecing the truck together and trying to figure things out and do things and uh, it's just been it's been different, uh, but it is definitely time to get back to what I know, uh, which is delivering trailers and uh, making it happen. So I'll be bringing you along with me, of course. Uh, I feel like I haven't made a real video in forever. It just feels very odd to me not uh, not bringing you along for the ride. So uh, I'm excited to be able to bring you more content going forward. And uh, I really haven't been able to think about uh, making these videos and, and really putting uh, you know, a super amount of effort into things because my life has just been kind of a, you know, in a tornado right now uh, with things happening. So uh, hopefully we can get back to a normalized situation if possible. Uh, we'll see how that goes, but I will catch you guys tomorrow uh, on the way up to Goshen. Hey guys, we're on the way to Goshen and uh, this truck is running super, super smooth, uh, really clean, no leaks, uh, no issues going forward. It just sounds like it's uh, it's just kind of beefed up uh, with the turbo. Uh, it's not, I mean, it's not crazy, obviously. Uh, it, it is just a remand with a slightly larger uh, billet uh, turbine, uh, you know, bigger, whatever. Uh, but uh, man, I uh, it just feels like it's a truck again. <laughs> I've I've babied my truck uh, for the last I don't know probably hundred thousand miles uh, as much as I can, taking as you know best care of it as possible, uh, especially for the turbo because uh, I've just I've been able to tell you know my exhaust brake didn't work, uh, lots of issues. And uh, to now have a brand new one, man, oh man, I want to uh, continue babying it and uh, taking good care of it uh, to make it last as long as possible. Uh, so yeah, we're on our way to Goshen. Uh, I wasn't exactly you know, too clear 
on uh, the Instagram post if I'd be able to uh, meet up with anybody, but um, hopefully somebody could uh, still pop in uh, when I do get there. I think I'm going to be there sometime around 2, uh, but I said I'd be able to you know, maybe meet up uh, closer to 3, so after I get hooked up, uh, maybe be able to chat with, you know, with somebody uh, and then uh, get back on the road and head home. Uh, I'm going to bring the trailer back to my house because the dealership that I'm going to be delivering to, uh, they require uh, you to uh, call the day before and schedule uh, a, uh, a delivery. Uh, there's no time. You just have to say, hey, uh, tomorrow are you available? And they've always said yes. And so I, I'll, uh, I'll be heading there uh, tomorrow. So um, wouldn't even been able to drop off today. So Mr. Ryder and I, we are uh, on the road again. Seems like it's, you know, the old days getting back on the road. I'm pretty excited about being able to uh, see what my new, you know, MPG is on my truck. Uh, you know, it's, it's not a matter of gaining a whole bunch of MPG. It's a matter of, you know, restoring uh, lost fuel economy due to uh, you know fuel and air the fuel air ratio uh, has probably been off it's probably had issues it's probably struggled uh, you know when I'm under load uh, it's the engines got to maintain a certain ratio uh, to be able to you know especially pull a heavier load and uh, and I've been running it uh, with a turbo that is uh, you know basically dead <laughs> so uh, with that in mind, uh, now that I have a new turbo, hopefully the ratio uh, and everything, all the numbers and the computer and everything just, you know, loves it. Uh, everything's synchronized and uh, hopefully that turns into uh, a fuel savings for me uh, over the next you know, 600,000 miles and, you know, pay myself back essentially in fuel economy, you know, restored. Uh, you know to, to you know kind of pay uh, for this turbo so anyways uh, we'll catch you in a little bit here and uh, see you at the yard guys so we are ready to go here got all hooked up to this small little passport 28 foot long and uh, it's just been so long since I've actually hooked up to a trailer uh, seems pretty wild to me uh, to finally be out here and uh, uh, need to start making some money so uh, <laughs> I just wanted to go a little slower on this uh, hookup uh, just to make sure that I actually did do everything correctly uh, out of being out of the game for a little while uh, definitely wanted to uh, make sure that we don't have any mistakes or issues uh, right off the bat and uh, kind of add insult to injury uh, so uh, it's going to be a pretty uh, short little run solid little run uh, i'm excited about it uh, however i'm not excited about uh, the check-in process which is uh, a little bit more excruciating uh, at this particular dealership but uh, we'll kind of power through that and uh, just kind of make it happen tomorrow and uh, we're ready to get on the road here. And in case if anybody's actually uh, curious about it, after I got my uh, turbo installed here, uh, I definitely did see a increase. Oh, it's probably really windy, sorry about this. Uh, I definitely did see an increase uh, in fuel economy. Uh, going forward, uh, empty, uh, probably, I think it was, I think normally on the way up to Goshen here, I get about, 16 16 and some change and uh, i did have a bit of a tailwind uh, i'm not gonna lie not gonna sugarcoat it uh definitely had a tailwind that helped me uh but i was getting 19 uh i got 19.3 is what it said uh so you know at the end of the day whether it's actually three full you know higher up mpg because of the wind or not uh, i will definitely take that win uh, it's going to save me some fuel over the long haul and uh, it's just going to be a solid uh, situation going forward with a new turbo 
uh, installed and uh, hopefully uh, over time you know it'll potentially pay for itself uh, in you know the fuel savings that I you know kind of was getting before uh, obviously I had to replace it because uh, it was it was deader than dead <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, pretty excited about uh, going forward here, uh, hitting hard after this short little trip. So this will definitely be a new kind of transition for me. Uh, now being married, uh, finally hitting the road, you know, while I'm married, kind of a new normal for, for me, for my wife, uh, for us, how the week uh, kind of plays out each week and uh, just kind of our plans going forward. So uh, I'm going to hop in the truck and uh, catch you guys a little bit later. All right, guys. So we are parked at the house. Uh, I already did call the um, dealership and I got that all worked out. I'm uh, going to be dropping off tomorrow, hopefully before noon, uh, depending on when I wake up. Uh, this being the first load uh, that I'm taking in quite a while, uh, we'll see how, how early I actually do want to get up. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll probably be setting my alarm for, I don't know, five or six, uh, but uh, we will see. Uh, if I actually do wake up at that time to be able to hit the road uh, quickly to be able to drop it off, you know, well before, uh, you know, even noon their time. So uh, I will catch you guys a little bit later uh, tomorrow morning, uh, depending on when I actually wake up. So I'll see you guys in a second. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, it is the next day here. Uh, I actually woke up uh, actually on time, uh, surprisingly. Uh, I got out of the house uh, by a little before, or no, right at eight o'clock. Uh, Pre-trip done in the driveway. Uh, we've got Miss uh, Bella back here. Uh, she is, of course, napping it up and uh, enjoying the trip uh, as my snoring co-pilot. And uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a pretty, a pretty smooth drop off, I'm hoping. Uh, again, this is the place that does take quite a bit longer. Um, at times, but I just I can't get around the fact that it's uh, it's like the perfect distance and uh, you know pay per mile and all that for me. Uh, so uh, almost kind of on autopilot as far as uh, the GPS. Don't really need it. Uh, I've done this trip uh, so so many times, and I think that's something that's you know probably a regular occurrence for a lot of drivers. You get into a routine. Uh, you you get these loads that. Uh, you just, I mean, it just gets into clockwork. You know, by this point, uh, you should be here on the map. You know, by that point, uh, you know, this is going to be, you know, more traffic or this or that or, you know, uh, any number of things when you're traveling down the road. You know, you can count on a lot of these things uh, being fairly consistent, even though you're, it's a different day, it's a different time, uh, or maybe it's the same exact time, you know, every every single Monday by 2 p.m. you're here because you're always taking uh, certain loads going this direction or you know whatever it may be and so uh, there there is in a in an industry full of inconsistency uh, surprisingly enough there there are times where uh, it can be consistent uh, out on the road and uh, that's kind of a, a weird situation but the more you get into this industry uh, and the more loads you take uh, I would imagine if you take the same routes a lot of times, uh, you'll find that to be the case. And there's, uh, to a certain degree, there's, you know, security in that. You know, spots in the road where uh, people uh, have, you know, hard a hard time seeing, you know, around the curve or over the little hill or whatever, where, um, where people, you know, don't realize how quickly they need to get over uh, to move to the next lane uh, or, or just things like that where, if you've been doing the same route over and over and over again, you're already anticipating those things. So you can position yourself in, in the safest way, in the correct area. Uh, you know, if I've got to get over three lanes that way, uh, you know, if you're in a you know, bigger city or going around a city, uh, you know that there's going to be uh, kind of a blockage point at a certain area down the road. So you know, I've got to get over there now. Opposed to, uh, you know, somebody trying to just go every direction all over creation uh, and not kind of getting more of a routine down and uh, not being able to anticipate those things. They're always going to be kind of on a guessing game, you know, trying to keep up with uh, each new, uh, you know, correction or, or change in the road 
uh, or the you know environment or the situation. So uh, that's one thing I, I really do enjoy this this little day trip here, 300 miles out, 300 miles back from my house, and uh, even though it is uh, somewhat of a pain, uh, more than usual. So uh, the new turbo is hanging in there, doing well. Uh, I can you know feel and, and kind of hear the more uh, a little bit more power. It seems like uh, maybe that's maybe that's just my mind. Uh, wanting to uh, hear and, and feel that, uh, but uh, fuel economy seems to be uh, about the same as it, as it normally is right now. Uh, I think I do have somewhat of a, uh, a crosswind uh, kind of knocking me uh, to the left here uh, as I'm uh, traveling uh, west, uh, so north to south. At some point, I think Bella and I will uh, take a little bit of a pit stop uh, stretch our legs, uh, take care of business. Uh, this being the first trip um, out on the road, and, and it feels like forever. Uh, it, it's very strange, but it's you know that familiar feeling of uh, of getting back into the saddle and you know just making it happen again. Uh, I, I definitely, I definitely missed uh, you know the bank account and the financial situation, but in a strange way, I guess I do miss the road a little bit. Uh, that's definitely a little harder for me to say just because I love being home with my family but uh, yeah so we will catch you a little bit later uh, down the road guys so we are here at the drop-off uh, I've got miss Bella over here uh, kind of exploring here uh, while we wait uh, for possibly eternity I don't really know um, for the person to check in the trailer uh, this dealership uh, normally it is uh, a significant amount of time anyways but apparently today it's even gonna be longer uh, because the person is coming back from lunch uh, at some point so uh, that will be interesting um, to say the least uh, every time I come here my patience is tested um, sometimes I fail sometimes I pass uh, we will see <laughs> what happens here uh, I think Bella found something something good something good over here um, but uh, yeah we're just gonna hang out here uh, do what we've got to do um, I guess clean out the truck, uh, twiddle my thumbs, uh, maybe cry a little bit, um, whatever strikes the mood. But uh, <laughs> uh, I will catch up with you guys just a little bit later. All right, guys, so we have left the dealership. Uh, it did take uh, a full two hours, I believe. Um, I went and got some food, I got some fuel. Uh, the price was like 259 I believe. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, just kind of gauging from uh, all the posts that I've seen on Facebook. Hi, Bella. Uh, all the, uh, say hi. <laughs> uh, all of the uh, different posts I've seen on Facebook and stuff. People saying, uh, you know, what they're getting for fuel. Uh, 259 seems to be, you know, close to the bottom uh, compared to uh, just, you know, what, like I said, what I'm seeing. So, um, anyways. Uh, I'm headed back. Uh, I did snag a different load uh, that is also a Eureka, Missouri, uh, but it is uh, the dealership that's uh, three miles further. Uh, so I don't have to uh, go through the ordeal that I kind of went through this time around. And uh, I guess Bella's pretty tuckered out here, but uh, or she really likes the ear being rubbed. But uh, <laughs> uh, basically, I'll be back. Uh, I got just enough fuel, uh, probably more than enough fuel actually, uh, to get me back home, uh, back to Synergy, uh, and then all the way back uh, to Eureka, Missouri on the other side of St. Louis. And uh, we will be uh, dropping off there Monday, I believe. Uh, again, it's you know, really just more of a day trip for me, a little bit more than a day trip, 
uh, to get back home, I think, if, if I try to do a full round trip. But uh, anyways, uh, happy about that and uh, definitely happy about the fuel price. Uh, I'll definitely be topping off uh, when I do go through there again, you know, for the next load if I go somewhere else, you know, somewhere different uh, than Missouri again. Uh, but uh, at the higher pay, uh, going through Missouri or going to Missouri, uh, man, I'm I'm fine with doing these shorter runs um, rather than taking some of these longer runs that are a little bit less money uh, than what I'm getting paid now. So anyways, I hope you guys are being profitable as well. Uh, this was my first run and uh, way too long to to even talk about, and uh, we've got some some ground to, to make up uh, financially. Uh, but that's okay. We will do that. Um, you know, we'll be uh, conservative with our with our money here, and uh, just make it happen. Get our bills paid, and uh, get cut off to speed. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hopefully, uh, you're being safe out there wherever you're going. Uh, hopefully, you're able to be you know finding those fuel stations uh, that are you know the kind of the needle in the haystack you know for filling up. Um, you know, it, uh, when when fuel prices increase. Uh, it's ever, you know, ever more important to know where the best fuel place is, to be able to chart out your, uh, you know, fuel stops, how far you can go to be uh, alert to how many, you know, gallons you think you have left, uh, to always be thinking through and thinking ahead uh, going forward. So I'm going to continue to do that myself. So Miss Bella and I will be able to be, uh, you know, rejoin with uh, Mr. Ryder and my wife. And uh, we'll catch you guys later. Hope you have a great weekend. Stay safe and God bless, guys.